going, guys? All right, this is now the third time I've done this because I had a, a little something out, then I had a alignment of the video difficulty. But this is about the range function. I've got a couple of uh, requests to do more recordings of uh, Python code explanations. I love doing code explanations. Woohoo! Here's the third time for the same thing. Today we're talking about Python range function, okay? Well, the range function is a built-in function into the uh, standard library of Python, and this is the format of it, okay? Um, I don't have a video editor right now, so I've just got to do this in one take because I can't really edit it or whatever, which is fine. Anyways, oh, I love code! Oh, this is awesome! The format is range A to B, okay? That's the format for the range function. A and B are integers, they're numbers, all right? Now, the best way to understand this is by recalling, if you learned this once before, or learning, if it's the first time you learned this, mathematical notation for inclusivity and exclusivity, okay? So, the, the symbols for that in math, another thing I love, oh, math is awesome, are that, 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 and that. This equals, that's a vertical equal sign, this equals less than or equal to. This equals greater than or equal to. This, this is inclusive. This is inclusive, okay? Includes. And these are exclusive. I'll give some examples, don't worry. So that's kind of equal to less than or greater than, okay? So let's, let's do a mathematical range, okay? Because recalling, you probably should have learned this at my jaw. So recalling a mathematical range thing can help you understand the range function of Python, all right? So let's do, what do you want to do? Let's do 0 to 11.5, okay? Now to, to write that, but let's do zero and, 0 and up until 11.5, okay? To do that math using inequalities, it's, and again, this will, you want, this will help you understand um, Python range. It really will. So that would be 0 less than or equal to x up until 11.5. Now, in math, you should know that that means every single number, every single rational fraction, every single irrational number, all the way up to 11.5. This means like 0 all the way up to 11.49999999999, all the way up to, but not including 11.5, okay? Now, to plug in these things, the um, exclusivity and inclusivity notation brackets, this exact same thing could be written as that. These two are equivalent. These two are equivalent explanations. They're equal, okay? This means zero, including zero, all the way up to 11.5. Now, how can you remember this? Because I did, after the first take, I had to record this, uh, to stop it, and look, to make, verify that these were right. When you see these, these are rounded brackets. So when you think of rounded, you can think of like a rounded number. A rounded number doesn't include usually some numbers. So it's kind of a weird mnemonic, but if you think of rounded, Brackets, you can remember that being um, exclusive. So this is not including 11.5, but everything up until 11.5, and then the normal brackets being inclusive, okay? So this Python range function is, this is where we put things together, okay? Is the equivalent of, the mathematical equivalent of A, B. Now if you remember what we just did there, that means and includes A, but all the way up to, but not including B. Now, the range function is most commonly utilized with a for loop, okay? For loop, all right? That's where it's really useful. Um, so let's do an example of that. This will be a really simple example, but it will help you understand this. Whoa, I love code! Whoa, I love math! I'm a little bit peeved because I've got a really tight schedule today, and this is the third recording I've done this. I'm not really peeved, it's just kind of, ugh. This is good. I like code, though. Whoa, I love code now! Whoa! All right. So, the variable most commonly utilized in for loops in almost any programming language are what? I, J, and K, okay? 
Let's write a quick for loop with the range function. Do you understand this? This is just, it's, it's exactly like that, that range of numbers there, okay? So for i, you can use any of those, let's use i, i in range, let's do uh, 1, 2, 6, okay? All right? And let's, what do we want to do? Each iteration, for loops and iteration, right? And again, just compare this with Java. Java is for, uh, the notation is um, initialization of i equals 1, colon, uh, i is less than 6, um, and then the incrementer. Don't worry about that. That's just, if you understand Java, this is, this, the Java version of for loop is the one area of Python where Python is a little, where it's, it's, the Java version is a little more eloquent, a little more concise. But there's this great ebook on Python by Cody Jackson, Jackson Cody or something. And in that book, this guy lists this mini program. There's something more or less simple, but in, is the same program that he, he lists for C, C++, Java, all these language, Python. And in Java, C++, C, C Sharp, all these different languages, it's about, I don't know, 20 to 30 lines of code. And it was about a third of that in Python. Python, you can accomplish so much more with less lines of code. Python is like reduced instruction set. It's awesome. Oh, I love going Python. What a man. Okay. So what do you want to do? Each iteration. Let's print. And just to make sure we're aware of the value of i to understand this for the combination of the for, um, the for loop plus range. Whoops. Found a need there. Plus range. Let's do print. Um, i equals i. And then after that's complete, let's say print. And this is um, Python 3 notation for the print statement. Print woo hoo Python rocks. Okay. Now, when this operates, what will happen? What will the output be? Well, this is where we're going to combine the knowledge of the for loop plus the range function. The output of this will be i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals 3. So again, if you put this code, this code right here, this code, into, that's not a, that's not a inclusive or exclusive bracket, just to identify this code, into the Python interpreter, probably the best idea because it's really short code, or you can put it into a .py file to save it so you can remember how to um, utilize range functions and um, for loops, and then you execute the code if it's all correct, then you, this is what you get, i equals one, equals two, i equals three, the fourth iteration of the for loop, i equals four, and then i equals five, and then for the sixth notation, it'll say for i in range. And then what will happen? It'll go, okay. Oh, remember? What, what was going on here? It's exclusive, exclusive, rounded, rounded bracket. That's what that is. So it doesn't include six. So then it exits the for loop. So it says, okay, for i in range. So print i. Okay, print an i. Print i. Two, i equals two. Okay, print two. And the third iteration. Okay, print i. And then is, is four in range of that? Yes. And five, five hundred that, yes. And then now i is six. Oh no, it doesn't include six. So then it breaks out of that for loop. That iteration is complete, that loop is complete, and then it just prints woo who pi thon rocks. Awesome. And it does rock. And that's the range function, which is built in the Python standard library, um, combined with the for loop. Sweet! I, I think I've got everything with that, and it's a, a very quick code snippet of how to do Python. Um, that's the range function. Awesome. Um, again, uh, in the comments, post suggestions for um, beginner to intermediate things that you want to learn in Python, and I will do a bit of those if it seems appropriate. And that's it. I'll put this code in the comments as well. So, woohoo! Python is awesome! Code is awesome! Woo! Oh yeah, I just wanted to say like, this, I think it's really important to connect math 
with code. Like this notations of doing things in math, like help, help that in mathematical notation, he's going to that ends with the, the inequalities and stuff. And, uh, and whatnot, you know? That's, this is really important to understand loops and code. It just helps mnemonically as well. And that's a great way to remember. I bet with talking, learning the mathematical notation of exclusivity, that bracket, and inclusivity, that bracket, you'll remember that the range function of Python does not include the B value, the B um, integer value. Um, just because that's sometimes easily forgotten, but you'll probably remember it learning the math version of that. So, whoa, that's awesome. Python's awesome. Woo!